Hey, this is Colin with Anytime Fitness on Stadium Drive in Kalamazoo. And today on Keto Shorts, I have a very special, wonderful, beautiful guest, my wife, Kristen. And what she's going to be doing today for you guys is she's going to be talking about the pros for doing a ketogenic diet uh, specifically for women. So, Kristen, take it away. So, first couple of things that I'd want to touch on are, of course, improved blood sugar control and reduction of inflammation. So, why is it important to improve your blood sugar control? Well, of course, blood sugar control is a huge factor in prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, and with PCOS specifically. When there's too much glucose entering the system, your body can't handle it. It starts shooting up your insulin levels, which in general can lead to more fat storage in your body. And so that becomes a never-ending cycle obviously not a healthy cycle. So we want to stop that, and the ketogenic diet is a great way to halt the progression of any kind of metabolic dysregulation like the things I mentioned before. Another big thing is that it does reduce inflammation. So why is it important to reduce inflammation? Inflammation is the actual cause, the underlying cause of the top three killers in the United States. So we've got heart disease, cancer, and diabetic and dis, uh, metabolic dysregulation in general. So the reason why it causes inflammation to have a high carbohydrate diet is because sugar consumption creates an acidic environment in the body. So when I say sugar, I'm not talking about you know vegetables, fruits, things like that that have carbohydrates in them naturally. I'm talking about Skittles, Pop-Tarts, you know, processed wheat, things like that, of course. Um, <laughs> so. When those are digested, they do create an acidic environment, and that shoots up your cortisol levels, which is the stress hormone of the body, which then contributes to more fat storage. And again, it's this never-ending cycle of non-health, for lack of a better phrase. So that's why we want to nip that in the bud by using the ketogenic diet if necessary. So specifically... For weight loss, so that's, that's great tips about blood sugar and inflammation, which is caused for a whole host of just metabolic problems that many people really suffer from. But specifically for weight loss, what can the benefit be for women doing a ketogenic diet? Yeah, so in general, um, with weight loss, a lot of people fall off the train within the first couple of weeks. And one of the benefits of the ketogenic diet is that you actually do lose a lot of weight quickly. So for a lot of women specifically, um, you're going to feel encouraged by that. You're going to notice that you're losing weight quickly. That's a great thing to use and push you forward with that momentum to get that weight loss kick started. Also, when you have to be on a strict diet like that, I know for me, I'm all or nothing. So if I didn't have a strict diet, I would not be adhering to any kind of weight loss program. So a lot of people do need a stricter diet to begin with. Um, and that can, of course, like I mentioned, push you into a healthier lifestyle in general because you have to be adherent to it. You have to be more in, in tune with what you're putting into your body. And so in general, that's going to help you monitor what you are taking in. So Kristen, specifically for women that might be trying to get pregnant, why could the ketogenic diet be beneficial to them? Yeah, so... It would be beneficial if you had um, some sort of fertility issues, like PCOS, for example. Also, pre-diabetics and type 2 diabetics tend to have a, a more of an issue getting pregnant anyway, because when that blood sugar is too high, their body senses that there's something off. It's a stressful environment. It's an acidic environment. You don't want to bring a baby into an acidic environment. That's not going to cause a healthy... Um, it, it's definitely important to maintain your blood sugar levels and your insulin levels, of course, and regulate that um, in order to actually produce and, and successfully nourish a baby in general. Yeah, very interesting. So if you are trying to get pregnant and you're looking into uh, like dietary ways to maybe improve that, uh, the ketogenic could be a good diet for you to look into, but make sure that you also, um, that you're engaging and talking with your doctor and your health care provider uh, over that. Don't just rush into that because uh, their knowledge over this issue is going to be way more than ours. But hope you found this beneficial. If you know someone uh, that could be helped by something we had to say in this video, please 
give us a share. If you like what we had to say, give us a like down below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.